The live Doppler 15 Fury Storm Team recommends you have multiple layers of protection when severe weather threatens. First, News Channel 15 will be breaking in with cut-ins and coverage if we have any severe weather in our area. Also, the Wayne Weather app will give you the latest severe weather alerts. But if your cell phone is dead and your power is out, how can you know what's going on with severe weather? That's where these Midland weather radios come in. They can even wake you up when you're asleep. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to program yours. Okay, first things first, when you get your Midland weather radio out of its packaging, you'll want to make sure you have your AA batteries handy. Put three fresh AA batteries in. Remember, these are just to serve as a backup. They're not actually going to be used to power the weather radio, but you'll want to put those in to program it. So the first thing you see showing up on your screen is the time here blinking, and you can set that here by setting the menu button. Hit select and set time. So you can actually scroll up and down to set your preferred time. Let's say it's 7 o'clock. Hit select again. Now, as you use the uh, arrows here up and down, you can actually navigate through the different menus here. So set languages, you've got English in there, and then set location. So in this weather radio, you have the option to do any, which will actually pick up on any uh, weather radio alerts in your range, multiple for multiple counties, or single for just a single county. Now, a single county, we could just program Allen County. You wouldn't see any alerts coming in, though, uh, for any of the counties just off to the west. So typically, we recommend multiple. So the county you are living in and then maybe the county that's situated immediately to your west or southwest. As we scroll through here, you can see some of the counties that have already been programmed in, but we'll start off fresh here. We'll hit select USA, then we'll go down and select our state. So we're in Indiana here, so we're going to scroll all the way down to I. Okay, once you get to Indiana, hit select again, then you can find your county. So Allen actually is the first one that shows up, but let's say if we were trying to uh, program a different county in here, you can scroll down and find, uh, you've got some other different options here. Of course, they're all listed alphabetically. So let's say we're doing Grant County, you'll hit select. Okay, then it's program. Because I selected multiple, you can go through multiple different selections here. And uh, you can see we've got uh, as many as six or seven programmed in at this time. When you hit menu, you can go up further and you'll want to go eventually to set channel. When you hit select there, there are different channels here uh, that are active in the area. Seven is the channel here for the Fort Wayne area. And you can hear the uh, weather alert sound coming through. This is actually the automated tech sound. Okay, so we know that that is set. We'll hit select. You can also uh, set different channels depending on your location. So if you live further north, you'll want to select a different channel. And you can test that to see when the audio comes through. Okay, so once that's set, you'll want to make sure that uh, you can go through and actually look at uh, some of your alert types. So a voice would mean a voice comes through. There's also a display where it's display only, a tone only. Uh, typically we recommend the voice because then that way you do get the weather voice and then it also does have the, the beep too. Okay, so when you hit menu, it saves it. We will go back and hit menu again too. And the, the last thing we always like to do is do an alert test. So when you hit select, as long as you hear that sound, you're all set. Now, a couple other things to keep in mind here, too, with your weather radio. You'll want to make sure that this switch on the side is always turned to on, so that way you uh, do get the alerts. If it's switched to off, it just really becomes a big paperweight, and it won't give you any alerts. So make sure that is always switched to on. You can adjust this antenna uh, once you are set up uh, at its permanent location there, so that way you can adjust that and make sure you have the best reception. Also, again, the batteries. Change those uh, maybe twice a year here when you change your smoke detectors. You want to plug this in and leave it plugged in at all times. So again, those batteries just there as a backup. Otherwise, your weather radio is all programmed and good to go.